Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are going to try out the new SDXL control net models. Since the control net for SDXL released, there are some new models such as Depth, Zoe Depth and the new Canny in SDXL. We are going to run this in Comfy UI. Let's get started with Comfy UI Web UI and you have to install Comfy UI Manager. If you don't know what is Comfy UI Manager, then check out our previous video. Link in the description. Click on the Collab link in Collab page. Make sure to put the base model SDXL 1.0 and select the SDXL VAE. Once everything is done, please go and run all the necessary results like I am doing here. Go follow along me. Just one thing I want to mention in the meantime of this installation. Stability AI has released five control net models for SDXL 1.0 recently. And all of these stable diffusion control net models, or called control lores, can be used in Comfy UI and Stable Swarm currently. The SDXL control net will be support for Automatic 11.11 soon. So guys, if you are only using Automatic 11.11, you will have to wait for a while. If people like me, I installed local PC and run on Google Colab for both Automatic 11.11 and Comfy UI. It won't be a problem. Okay, when you have the IP address and the link, open up the Comfy UI now. Okay, so here you are Comfy UI. Now we have to install the control net models and preprocessors, which will be used in this tutorial. So go to the manager and then first go to install models and search for control net. In the list, scroll down and you will see the models here with name control, LoRa. I will install all these models. Follow along with me. After installation, close the tab and now open install custom nodes and again search for control net. Now here you will find preprocessors. So I'm going to install this after installation done. Now you can restart your comfy UI like I am doing here to set up all the things. Okay, so this is the blank page of your comfy UI. Now let's add some nodes here. First we will put load image, and I will drag and drop an image here. Now it's time to call control net preprocessor. I'm adding depth map here. Connect the image with it. And after that, connect the preview image and run this process. So as you can see the process from the preprocessor. And now it's time to call another loader from ControlNet. So go ahead.
Let's do this. You will see the models for ControlNet you installed before of Control Rora. Also, load the checkpoint section too. Now in Comfy UI, if you don't know how to complete the workflow, it provides you a favor. When you drag and drop the dot, it will open a section for the next step. So, here we need Control Net Apply Advance. Now connect the image from preview site as it will expecting pre-processed image, not the actual image. And after that we need positive and negative prompts. So, let's call clip text in code now and follow me. Okay, now we have to do alignment. Let's align everything first. Now it's time to call the K sampler and then I will connect the model positive prompt, negative prompt and also with empty latent image section to the K sampler. After that, we have to call the VA encode after the connection your VAE from the checkpoint section and follow along with me to lead the save image section at the end. So there you are. Your workflow is now ready and good to start generating images, set up your case sampler with your desired settings. Keep in mind that I am showing you an experimental run as this is for educational purpose. This is to teach you about how you can use different control net models along with preprocessors. Write something in the prompt also and let's generate, see what we can get. Okay, now let's try changing the control net preprocessor. Here, I will now use Scanny for the next generation so you will run how you can change the workflow. Follow me to get further into it. Do change the model also for control net. Also, I am changing the image as well for different results and generate the image. Wait for the process to complete. It will take some time as I am generating four batches at a time. That means it will generate four images at once. And there you have it. That's it for today's tutorial. Feel free experimenting. Until then, I will see you in the next video.